Hi friends, this is Amanda. I'm an A7 size girl in an A2 size world. I'm a Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Oakland County, Michigan, and today I'm gonna make a five by seven card that can be used for just about anything. Very monochromatic-esque. All right, so let's try this. We're going to take a um, five by seven card base, which is four and three quarters, I'm sorry, which is five. <laughs> seven by 10, scored in half at five. We're gonna take a panel of um, very vanilla that is four and three quarters by six and three quarters. Then we are going to take two more panels, one that's two and a half by six and three quarters and one that is two and a quarter by six and three quarters. And then when we end up, we're gonna, we're gonna have this very monochromatic card. probably can't see that very well, but see all those different layers. We are going to add some twine. We might add very vanilla twine. Let's check that out. Before we go any further, we might add some very vanilla twine. Let's do that. All right, so this card is very vanilla. Look at this mess that I have on my hands. I guess I'll just cut it. Very vanilla-y. <laughs> <laughs> and then all the color is going to be in, you know, I'm just going to cut this. That would be silly for me to spend some time um, undoing this when I have a card to make with you guys. All right. So here we go. Um, we have some cutting to do, and that's one, one more leaf from the Perched in a Tree set. The die sets are amazing, and the die set is amazing, and we'll use that in our mini emboss machine. And it's super easy. It's a two by two esque, maybe two and a quarter by two and a quarter. It's not very large that we need, and we'll run it through. See, easy peasy. Now. I want to show you the difference between these two. This one card, this is the die we're going to be using, just five of these dies. I want to show you the difference between the ones that I have done already. Added a little bit of texture with some um, splatters and how flat these ones look. Can you tell the difference? So we're just going to add some extra by um, inking these up a little bit. We'll use a mat for this so that my workstation doesn't get too dirty. Let's clear that off. All right, so we'll use crushed curry, cherry cobbler, and um, pumpkin pie along with Cajun Craze and Mossy Meadow. So let's just ink up this really quickly. I'll show you how it's done. Let's grab an ink pad, same color, so cherry cobbler, cherry color, and then we're just going to ink up with the blending brush. You can always, always do this with a dauber, but a blending brush is so much easier. Just ink up the sides a little bit. Give it some texture. Really want that. And you can definitely see the difference here. All right. We'll just curl this up a little bit with our fingers. Give it some dimension. And we'll go on to the next one. Next one is crushed curry. Hopefully you'll be able to see in just a second how important it is to add some life to these. There we go. Just add a little bit more on the edges, but we don't want to get a line there, so that's why it's easier to do the blending brush, because if we do a dauber, we'll have a a line pretty much of where we don't want it. 
So there we go. We added some great texture on that. Just finished a little bit on the other side. Excellent. And then the last one, pumpkin pie. There we go. We do need to add some black splatters. Here we go. Excellent, just a little bit. Now to add the black splatters, really easy for me. Oh, we'll shoot these up a little bit. Leaves are definitely not flat. You can do these while they are a little bit wet from the um, ink. All right, we're just going to add some ink, literally. This is Winsor & Newton India ink. And I'll just grab a paintbrush. I need a little one here. And splatter these up. Quickly take a baby wipe and I'll clean this up later, but I just want to get the majority off of it now. I'll put that in a baby wipe and leave that there until I can clean it up. Take another baby wipe and clean up my station here really quickly. Let's just stick those to the side so we don't disrupt the ink, um, the India ink. It will take just a second to dry. Here we go. This will not come clean. Our, the mats do not come clean, but it'll leave this little red hue on it, but that's okay, it is a tool. And I'll get these particular spots off really easily when I clean it, clean it. All right, so I already have a little bit of ink on my paper, which is always well. You can't see it, it's just right there. But I can see it, so I'll flip it over. And on this particular sheet, we are going to use the new set, Autumn Leaves. Autumn teaches us that change can be beautiful, which is a fabulous sentiment, and one that inspired this card. get that straight, shall we? And we'll just get a block. And we'll ink this up in any color of your choice. Black, um, or one of the colors that we've used. I think I'm gonna go black because I don't want any other color on this besides the leaves. Which is, I don't know, silly in one respect, right? There we go, we'll just stamp that down. Perfect. Quickly wipe that off so we don't keep our, it's already red, as you can see, I've already used red on it, so the pink tone is normal, that's fine. All right, we'll just put this card together now. Really easy. Yep, my hands are clean for once. All right, we will, oh, I guess we need to put this on first before we put that on, that's fun. All right, so let's add these two together because I want to pop this up. Here we go. Just a little dab will do ya on all the corners, it works. And we'll just add these so that the edges are on um, the edges here are the same, but it has just a little lip right here and that looks amazing. 
Then we'll add our colors in rainbow order. And I'm just going to add in the middle so I can flip these up. There we go. Red, orange. So Um, cherry cobbler, pumpkin pie, Cajun craze. Just gonna have to add a little bit more over there. Um, oh, sorry. Crush curry and mossy meadow. I'm just gonna have to push this over just the tiniest bit, I think. Yeah, all right. And this one as well. We'll just add the Cajun craze in the middle. And I do just want to add it in the middle, the um, adhesive. There we go. Crush curry in the middle. And then mossy meadow. As you can see, adding the little bit of texture really plays up this card nicely. What do you think? Just a rainbow of goodness, right? And then we'll take some dimensionals. And this time I have black because that's what I have. The white, the regular dimensionals are somewhere in my stash. I did clean. I, I did organize my craft room. It looked gorgeous and wonderful and great. Uh, but I still don't. My my dimensionals are way over there at the bottom. So we'll just add these. If you have some nail issues, you can use your take your pick tool. I do not, so it's easier for me to use my fingers to do this. Most of the time. As long as you push down, well this finger doesn't <laughs> is having trouble. But let's just see if I can do this now. <laughs> All right, now we have this. We just want to place it a little bit above. Remember, we are going to add, so about a half an inch down. We are going to add um, some twine, so that's, that's fun. There we go. What do you think? Doesn't that look gorgeous? Oh my goodness, it's beautiful. All right, let's take this twine that I had already cut once. And we'll just add this. You know what, I'm, I'm gonna cheat. I'm gonna cheat, I like to cheat. It's easier for me that way. So we'll just take this and put this here like that. Run this here, add another little dot cut it and we'll add our bow on top. Okay, we'll add extra stamp and seal plus here right along where it, um, let's make sure the card is open correctly today. Let's Put it right there in the middle. I like that. Let's put the um, bow right here. We'll just take it. Make an extra long loop if I need to. There we go. And then we can just add our bow. Ooh, this is a big bow. We don't need it that large. Let's stick it over here though. There we go. Just with a little bow, please. Here we go. 
guess I should take it off this one. We'll cut it. Cut it. I love when they twist up on me, and that's a sarcastic. I love it. Because I really don't want to be fussing with the bow here. Now let's not forget to add our adhesives, oh, I'm sorry, our gems, our embellishments. Here I put on the colors at the top of each one of these. So I have gold and bronze and copper here. So we could use that or we could actually add some more color here with Mossy Meadow. And Cajun Craze, we'll add this here. And I think that looks great. Just a little bit, a little will do us. And we have a really cute card. This could be um, an any kind of card. It could be a, a, actually, even though I don't do sympathy cards this bold, you could do a sympathy card you could do, um, because you know, you could do a change in a life card, I'm sorry card. This could be a birthday or a thank you. Any kind of card that you want can have a sentiment like this. I'm gonna play with this bow for about six hours, friends. But it looks okay. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Do you like the monochromatic? Do you hate the monochromatic? Do you love these colors? The only thing that I could suggest afterwards is adding a little bit more bling in some Wink Estella. These look like hearts, don't they? So that they shine a little bit more. Add some on the edges here where the little white parts would be. And you have, this will dry here. This. Um, Garden green will dry so it won't look like that, but we could do all of them. Oh, no, 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 no. We just got to do the edges. There we go. <laughs> this one's going to take over. Here we go. Let me know what you think in the comment section below and I'll start painting all of these so they look amazing and sparkle. Autumn is coming. I heard not for another month, but autumn is coming, friends. Can't wait for all the colors of the leaves to change. All right, thanks so much for stopping on by. See you next time. Ooh, look at all that. All right, friends, bye-bye.